Hi, I'm Amy Dunker at Clark University. Welcome to Trumpet Quick Lessons. This is the Vandercook Etudes for Coronet, number 26. This etude is really about working on the uh, 16th notes, be it the 8th note, 2 16th notes, or 4 16th notes. So if we look at the very first two measures, we have 1 and a 2 and a 1e and a 2e and a 1. Say that with me. 1, 2, ready, go. 1 and a 2 and a 1e and a 2e and a 1. Let's play it. 1, 2, ready, go. Okay. So that's the rhythm. Um, in bar 2, you have a C major arpeggio, C, E, C, G. It's all arpeggiated C, so you might want to just practice C, E, G, C, G, E, C. And get really comfortable with that. And then I would take measure two and slur it slowly. And then I would slowly speed that up. and clean for you. Um, in third line, uh, third measure, the D sharp. So this is one where you're going to want to work the fingers a little bit because you've got some of those two and threes and this finger's a little weak so you want to make sure it's getting down all the way. So I would do that one slowly. And when you've got it really clean, Speed it up a little bit. So working it slowly and then working it up to speed. Um, at the end of the third line, there's this nice low G. You might want to slur from the D to the G to the C. Until it sounds really good and solid. And then... And then you'll get a nice sound on that. The D has to have the slide out, but the G is in tune, so you need to bring it back for the G, even though they're the same fingering. In the fourth line, you've got a tie over the bar line in between bars two and three. So let's practice that first. Let's take the tie out and say it. One, two, ready, go. One and a two E and one and a two E and a one. Say it with me again. One, two, one, two. One and a two E and one and a two E and a one. Now let's play it with the tie taken out. One, two, ready, go. Now let's put the tie in. One, two, ready, go. So just really being able to feel that downbeat. Be careful when you cross bar lines that you're going back to the original key. And also look at the slur pattern there. It's in um, line three, measure two. It's in line four, the last measure, and the first measure of line five, where you've got slur three, tongue one. Ta ha ha ta, ta ha ha ta. So let's look at line three, measure two. Let's just say it together. One, two, one, two. Ta ha ha ta. One, two, one, two. Ta ha ha ta ta. Again, one, two, one, two. 
Ta 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 ta. Now let's play it. One, two, one, two. Again, one, two, one, two. And the last thing is looking at the fifth line, measure four and five, and even six. You might want to work on slurring those first. And then getting up, getting them up to tempo slurred. And then playing them. And the same one with the next measure. Okay, so we've got two measures learned, so we put those two measures together. And then we learn the last measure of that line. First slurred. And then we put the tonguing in. And then we put the three measures together. And by slowing it down, slurring it, making sure every note is correct, and then slowly inching up the metronome, making it a little, a little faster, and then finally putting the tongue in when, you're, when you get the tempo up, you'll have a nice, clean little passage there, and it'll sound really great.